All right, guys, welcome back. Part two of our little Super Impreza uh, nameless exhaust install. Uh, as you can see, we took our 14 millimeter bolts out and set them aside. Um, this is the stock muffler. Obviously, you can see how big that is and how much that's going to keep the sound down. You see our uh, nice little nameless exhaust system. We got our hardware underneath it. We're going to go ahead and use the hardware that Nameless sent us. Although I will recommend retaining your old hardware and keeping the old muffler just in case this one ever decides to go kaput or you decide the exhaust note's not too bad and you want to go back to stock. So let's go ahead and get this guy installed. All right, guys, there's an upper hanger and a lower hanger. It's easiest to get it in the upper hanger first. So we're going to go ahead and squeeze it up in there. Now, if the vehicle's fairly new like this one was, you may not really need to use any brake free on those uh, exhaust bolts themselves. Although I can tell you, as time goes by, get a little stiff, feel free to use some brake free. I wouldn't use a lot of lubricants on these exhaust hangers because uh, that can cause them to get brittle over time and dry them out. So once you get this system kind of up in here, get it on the hangers themselves, it'll actually hang free right there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this exhaust gasket and put it in there. And that's going to basically even up the uh, exhaust itself. Uh, And then we're going to go ahead and stick these bolts in there. And again, just get them started initially so we can make sure everything's lined up really well. All right. Once we get that in there and get these all started, we're going to go evenly as we tighten them down, guys. The reason why you do that is make sure you can keep everything lined up really well. Again, exhaust systems are not where you want to have any leaks. other side real quick. Now if you don't have a lift to get the vehicle off the ground, there's not a lot of room underneath these Subarus. So what I'd recommend is you had a little slant of a driveway like we're using here. You can actually put the end over that slant and probably get just enough room underneath here. Now, Nameless didn't give us any new exhaust hangers, so you'll have to reuse your Subaru stock ones. But, exhaust hangers are exhaust hangers, guys, so don't worry about that too much. All right, so now that I got it tightened up, I'm just going to give it a good move around to make sure that that gasket's seated in there real nice and that there's no potential leaks lined up then we'll go ahead and start torquing this down the rest of the way So you do get it tightened up, you shouldn't see any, any gaps between the exhaust gasket and the two pipes. And again, these are grade one bolts, so feel free to torque them down. All right, everything's in here seated real well. 
We're just checking around, making sure our hangers are in there good, and nice and even, not angled, make sure no metal's touching any plastic. Oh, guess it's time to fire it up, see what it sounds like. Investment of 250 or less is pretty good on this Subaru. Now let's went out its high idle phase. That's going to be the standard note without any type of hard acceleration or throttle to it. So not a bad little product, guys, and good job, Nameless. See you next time.